back again to share another project. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm back again to share another project with you. We're using some new items from the Simon Says Stamp Be Bold release. Um, they had a blog hop a while back, and it was so much fun with lots of inspiration. I thought I'd share another card with you um, using some of the supplies from that release. We're going to be using the World Dragonfly. This is so pretty. Um, let me show you. It's a three-piece set, so you have both the wings and then you have the body. We'll be using this on our card today. For my greeting, I'm going to be using a... I'm not... This may be sold in the combo. If it is, I'll link it down below, but um, Happy is the wafer thin die, and it's a shadow and the greeting. It's like the perfect size. And I want to mention, too, that the happy is all, can't hardly see it on there, but the happy, I separated them, but the happy is all one piece. So you don't have to fuss with individual letters. You just die, swipe it through, die cut it out, and you can layer it right on your shadow. Makes it very convenient when it's all one piece. And it coordinates beautifully with the 4x6 stamp set called Happy Combos from CC Designs. I love that there's scripty sub-sentiments, or pre-sentiments, um, and then there's just about every occasion you can imagine in this happy stamp set. I love this. We'll be using this on our card today, along with this fabulous um, embossing folder. I love backgrounds, um, embossed backgrounds, and this was super fun because you have, it's, it's called Cherry Blossom, and you have all these beautiful cherry blossoms, but you also get three flower dies that will cut out these little blossoms. So this is the embossing folder we're going to be using today. The cherry, I love cherry blossoms. It's, it's that time of year. <laughs> okay, let's do some die cutting, and then we'll put everything together. First, we're going to die cut our dragonfly, our whirl dragonfly. And we might as well die cut out our greeting at the same time. Okay. I mentioned my card today is going to be light and airy. Um, so I'm going to bring in some glitter cardstock. This glitter cardstock is from Ulta New. Let me show you. It is so pretty. Pretty. This is called Dazzling Diamond. I have a full sheet out. But it's not quite silver, it's like a, and it's not champagne, definitely, it's more on the white side. But there are beautiful flakes in there, and it looks just like a diamond. So I thought we would die cut out our dragonfly with a piece of that. And for my greeting, we're just going to use white cardstock, and we'll die cut out a few of them, stack them together. And then for the shadow, I'm going to bring in a piece of vellum. And we'll layer all of those together. You know, while I'm at the die cutting machine, we might as well do our embossing too. So let me open this. And put this over here. Oh, these are the dies. You can separate them, but I like to leave them together because whenever there is a coordinating die set that goes with an embossing folder, um, I like to die cut first and then emboss because it just makes my flowers um, stand out a little bit more. I'm going to use some of my Spellbinders Barely Peach cardstock. So we'll die cut these. Um, actually, let me do that real fast because I want to show you how to emboss them really quick. Let me run this through my die cut machine. Okay, I die cut out three of my flowers. Now what, what I like to do is you could feel the um, on your embossing folder. You can kind of feel that the ones that are concave are ones that go in, and so this is this side. Okay, now I'm just going to find a full flower on here. I'm going to flip it upside down, of course. And what I like to do is just move it until it kind of sticks in place. That way, I know it's like perfectly lined up. I'm going to do that with three of these. Some of the flowers aren't full, so you just want to make sure that there are full flowers. 
and I think that one's gonna go great there. Now I'm gonna run this through. You can see they line up beautifully. I'll run this through and I'm gonna show you what the, the flowers do. Okay, and you can see the detail in these beautiful die cut flowers. So pretty. Now wait until you see the embossed background. Now I'm gonna emboss an A2 panel of vellum. This is Hero Arts vellum, so it's very thick. I'm gonna emboss this, and then I'm also gonna emboss these two panels. The vellum emboss is gonna give it a real airy look. But let me show you the sizes of these. This is, I believe, three and a quarter inches wide by four and a half inches tall. And then this is a half inch smaller. So this is two and three quarter inches wide by four inches tall, okay? Wait until you see these embossed. It's so pretty. I also want to mention that when, well, let me show you. I'll emboss one of these. I'm going to put this in my embossing folder. And when Simon's and Stamps embossing folders are a little bit um, different. I'm so used to spellbinders. But how I like to do is keep the back packaging. And I basically just run this through. Well, let me show you. I'll be, I'm going to bring in. I've been using my Mac Daddy <laughs> Platinum 6. So this is um, just a regular Platinum 6 with the regular standard plates. It doesn't have the, um, the newer plates. But what I like to do is just remove both of my plates. And you can see on here you have your embossing folder guide. Um, Simons are a little bit tricky. So what I like to do is just put my embossing folder here. I'll take the packaging, put it right on top. And then I run it through and it embosses beautifully. Let me show you. Isn't this so pretty? So that's the sandwich I use. It may be a little bit unconventional with the with the the cardboard that comes with it, but for me it always works. So um, and again, this is the regular platinum plates. Okay, I know that there's the newer plates out, and I think it would work different with the newer plates. I've just been using my my regular size platinum because I've been doing a lot of die cutting lately. But isn't this isn't this gorgeous? <laughs> so pretty. You see how there's there's prominent um, blossoms, and then there's some behind it. I don't know how they do that, but that's just gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with my Barely Peach cardstock. Grab it. I'm gonna do the same thing with my vellum and my Barely Peach cardstock. We'll just run this through. Easy peasy. And it embosses beautifully every time. Look at that. I have everything die cut and embossed. I did die, um, die cut and emboss a few more flowers. Okay, and then I have my dragonfly. I'm going, and I did go, went ahead and layered my happy on my shadow. Save a little bit of time here. And then I also stamped with my black ink. I just use memento, because sometimes with smaller um, greetings, I like the Christmas that the memento gives me, and this says, uh, you deserve to be, so it'll say, you deserve to be happy, and I, I've been using this right here, I just blocked it off. Okay, so that's all done. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I'm going to adhere it to my card base. Isn't that so pretty? Just, it's, this says light and airy, and, um... Of course, if you don't want to use vellum, you could just emboss directly on the front of your card base. But I like the way this looks. It just brings um, a softness. Okay, I just adhered that. And my tape runner, you can actually see my tape in here. It's like a, it's a dot liner that has, it's a pale blue. But I'm going to cover that so you won't be able to see it. Um, if you don't have a dot liner that's not that visible, what you can do is just put glue behind um, this section. The middle section of your vellum and it'll adhere it to your card base. Now I do want to do some ink blending with my flowers and these two panels but I do want to put together my dragonfly real fast because I think since we're using glitter cardstock it may take a little bit of time to grab. 
So I'm just going to use a little bit of glue right down the center. Kind of a lot of glue there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to line them up. Oops, and then I'll take the body of my dragonfly and I'll just tack it down. Oops. Okay, what I'm going to do is take my reverse tweezers and I'm going to hold it together. And that way I know it's going to secure it. The, the glitter may take a little bit of time, but I don't know if you can tell, even on the glitter cardstock, um, the detail in here is so pretty. Maybe in the close-up pictures you can see it. But that's a beautiful dragonfly. Now, while that's adhering, let's do a little ink blending. I have two different colors I want to use. I have picked raspberry and carved pumpkin. I'm just going to go ahead and start with, let's start with picked raspberry. And I'm going to use my blending brush and just really lightly go over um, these flowers. For the most part, these are going to be covered with the other one, but I want to show you how pretty this looks. Because the ink is basically hitting those prominent flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, that's all we're doing with this. And I am going to add a little color to these also. I just want to hit the ends a little bit. Just add a little color to these. And I'm... Sometimes you just... Sometimes you just got to replace it. <laughs> so let's finish up here. Just highlighting a little of this area. Okay. I'm going to keep the pink out because we're going to use that. I am going to wipe my surface off. And I'm going to bring in my Barely Peach. Now Barely Peach, I'm going to lightly go over it with picked raspberry. Just a little bit. And then I want to add some of my carved pumpkin. And then I'm going to, and I'm going to call that good. And I'm going to bring back my single flowers. And I'm going to add a little bit more orange to these. Now I'm going to layer both of these embossed together. Now I'm going to take this panel, I'm going to layer it or mat it. Okay, um, now I went ahead and put some foam squares behind my flowers. I used black. These are the ones that came actually in our Simon Says Stamp card kit. <laughs> I'm going to put them to good use and I'm going to layer it over the flowers in my background. And if some overlap, I don't mind. I kind of like it. Before I add the last two, I'm going to add my greeting. Because I don't want to run out of room. Maybe we can overlap a little bit here. I'm going to use my tape runner. And I was layering on existing flowers, but I think I'm going to just place them where I think it looks best. Okay, so we have some dimension there. And then I'm going to take my dragonfly, kind of fluff those wings up. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm going to add some glue. The back side of this is nice because it's matte right in the center. And then for finishing touches, I'm going to be using my Spellbinders Opal gems. These are real subtle. And I'm just going to add a few to the flower centers. And I think I got all the flower centers. Um, the ones that we popped up, I put a bit, little bit bigger gem. And then the ones in, in the background, I um, added the teeny tiny gems. 
kind of a light and airy card. Not really not too bulky, but of course I like a lot of dimension. As I always say, if you don't want to that much, you just skip the foam tape. <laughs> but that's my card for today. Hope you get a chance to check out the People Old release if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.